Incredible though it may seem, in 2021, World War II-era aircraft are still serving in air forces all over the world. And even more incredibly is the fact that the number still flying isn't decreasing, but it's increasing. Why? Because the aircraft are still of practical use in a variety of roles. In fact, my research suggests that a grand total of 27 World War II-era planes are currently serving in military air forces. And they are all of one very familiar type the Douglas C-47 Skytrain. The C-47, the military version of the Douglas DC-3 airliner and known in British Empire service as the Dakota, was the World War II aircraft that did an enormous amount to help win the war. Equipping both the US and British Empire air forces, it transported cargo, dropped paratroopers and evacuated the wounded. Without it, a multitude of operations from D-Day to the Burma campaign would have become impossible. With over 10,000 aircraft built, many served on long after the war as airliners and cargo carriers all over the world. And today, almost eight decades after the war ended, a few remain in civilian service. Today, the largest operator of World War II-era military C-47s is South Africa, with nine currently on strength. The South African Air Force's No. 35 Squadron was formed in 1945 and equipped from 1957 with the Avro Shackleton Maritime Patrol aircraft. The Shackleton was itself based on the highly successful World War II Lancaster Heavy Bomber. No. 35 Squadron Shackletons were used to hunt Soviet submarines around South Africa's long coastline. And they were also used for maritime search and rescue operations. The South African Air Force operated eight of these capable British aircraft, but due to an embargo against South Africa over its apartheid policy, acquiring spares for the Shackletons became progressively harder, eventually leading to the grounding of the fleet in 1984. Obviously, the Air Force needed a replacement, but no dedicated maritime patrol aircraft was available to replace the Shackletons. Creative thinking followed. The South African Air Force had a significant fleet of wartime Dakotas used for transport duties. By the 1980s and 90s, this was believed to number around 50 aircraft. But unlike Shackleton's, Dakotas lacked any offensive capability. However, in June 1985, No. 35 Squadron received four old Dakotas, originally configured for navigation training. Then, in September 1994, these old workhorses were replaced by vastly upgraded new version of the Dakota, the C-47TP, the TP standing for turboprop. These aircraft are made by the Basler Corporation in the United States. Basler takes old World War II-era C-47s, completely guts the aircraft, extends them by 40 inches, and fits them with modern Pratt & Whitney turboprop engines. In South African service, the type is known as the Turbo DAC. The turboprops increase the Dakota's speed from 250 to 330 kilometers an hour and has extended their range from 2,500 to 4,000 kilometers and an endurance of up to 13 hours in the air. The South African Air Force, as I mentioned, currently has nine in service, used for electronic warfare, maritime patrol and transport duties. The South African Air Force plans to eventually field a fleet of 11 C-47 TPs in frontline service. Though not an adequate replacement for the Shackleton, they are nonetheless a cost-effective stopgap due to budget constraints and perform well in their various roles. The next largest user of the C-47 for military operations today is Thailand, with a fleet of seven BT-67 transport aircraft. The Royal Thai Air Force had its existing fleet of surplus US DC-3 and C-47 aircraft upgraded by Basler, having new turboprops fitted plus other improvements. Some are used as air tankers, each carrying 3,000 litres of water dropped to control dust at ground level to improve public health and visibility at air bases and airports.
Other BT-67s are used to transport troops and equipment around Thailand. The next biggest user of World War II C-47s is Columbia, whose 113th Tactical Combat Squadron currently operates six AC-47T aircraft. In contrast to the South African Air Force, Columbia uses the C-47 in a very different role, ground attack. Based on the AC-47 spooky gunship used by the US Air Force in the Vietnam War, commonly known as Puff the Magic Dragon to US troops, the upgraded AC-47T version entered service in 1994. In Colombian service, it is called the Phantasma. Each aircraft is fitted with three 50 caliber GAU 19A Gatling guns. They also have night vision equipment. Aiming is done by the pilot using a sight built into his window from a Lockheed T-33 jet trainer. Once the airframes were upgraded by Basler with modern turboprops and the fuselage stretched and improved communications fitted, the aircraft has an endurance of up to 10 hours. The AC-47T remains a formidable counterinsurgency platform. The aircraft also have very interesting backstories. One is a D-Day veteran that dropped US paratroopers over Normandy on the 6th of June 1944, while another served with Britain's Royal Air Force in World War II. These aircraft are expected to remain in frontline service with the Colombian Air Force for the foreseeable future. Britain's Royal Air Force still has an unmodified C-47 in service as part of the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight. The Battle of Britain Memorial Flight currently consists of one Avro Lancaster bomber, one Dakota, six Supermarine Spitfires, two Hawker Hurricanes and two de Havilland Canada Chipmunks. It is mentioned in this video as it remains a part of the Royal Air Force, part of Number 1 Group, based at RAF Coningsby, and all the pilots are seconded from regular RAF squadrons. The aircraft, built in Long Beach, California in March 1942 and used by both the United States Army Air Forces and the Royal Canadian Air Force before it was purchased by the Royal Aircraft Establishment in 1993 to support the Battle of Britain Memorial Fight as a training aircraft for Avro Lancaster crews. The plane is also used in the transport role, dropping paratroopers at displays and attends air shows as a flying exhibit. Several nations operate a single example of the modified Basler BT-67 aircraft. The United States Air Force has one gunship version still operational with the 6th Special Operations Squadron based at Thurlbert Field, Florida. A combat aviation training unit, part of its mission is the training, advising and assisting of foreign aviation forces and it flies a variety of US, NATO, and former Soviet and Chinese aircraft and helicopters, including one Basler BT-67. Guatemala has a single BT-67 serving in its air force as a military transport, as does Mali and Mauritania in Africa. There is possibly one more World War II era aircraft still in military service today, but I cannot confirm it absolutely. And interestingly, the type is the Soviet copy of the C-47, the Luzanov Li-2 transport. A license-built copy of the Douglas DC-3, it was produced between 1939 and 1952, and 5,000 or so were built. It is believed that a few Li-2s remain in service in 2021 with the North Korean People's Air Force for use as transports and parachute training aircraft, though, as I said, that may be speculative. What may be said is that Basler continues to modify old C-47s, and so it is in the 21st century that more of these old World War II aircraft will enter military service once more. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and also visit my audio book channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.